Hey guys, my name is Shivranshan Bhaskar and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a custom cursor in your framer website. So now without wasting our time, let's get started. So the first thing that you have to do is open your web browser and go to the link provided in the video description. Credits to Nibble for this cu custom code component. What you are going to do is copy this code right here, go to the assets panel in framer, select the code option, choose the name and click on new override section and then click on create. Next, what you are going to do is remove all this code right here, paste the code which we had just copied and then save it by pressing command S on your keyboard. Now let's go back to our desktop frame, copy the custom cursor that you want on your favorite website, go to the layers panel, select the desktop frame and hit paste right here. The next thing that you are going to do is select the cursor on your framework website, remove all the top, bottom, left and right constraints, select the type to absolute, and now scroll down, go to the code overrides panel, select the file and select the override with cursor follow. And that should do it. Now if you go to the preview of this framework website, you can see that I've got the custom cursor on the website. But what if you want the cursor only on a specific container and not on your whole website? To do that, what we are going to do is remove the custom cursor that we have just created, right here and then we are going to copy the custom cursor again select the frame that you want the custom cursor to be so select the frame and paste the custom cursor within that frame do the same process again remove the constraints select type to absolute and go to the over code override section now what you have to do is select the frame in which the custom cursor resides go to the styles section choose cursor and set the styling of cursor to none also make sure that the overflow for this frame is set to hidden right here. And now once we go back to the preview, you can see as I move my cursor inside the frame, my cursor automatically changes to the custom cursor that we have just installed. So that was it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please like, comment and share it with your friends. Have fun. Bye bye.